Hi, my name is Amy. I'm 15. I started using social media when I, I was around 12 years old. My name is Jalen Dancy and I am 21 years old. So, you know, like back in the day, we had to sneak on Facebook because your parents didn't want you to have one. Oh, but I want to say I was like, mm, social media. I was really young, honestly. I was very young. I want to say I was about maybe nine or 10. So my name is Jan Steinberg. I'm 21. I honestly probably started when I was about 13, 14. Hi, my name is Estrella. I'm 22 years old. Well, I actually started when I was 12 years old. Social media is here within us more than ever, and it is here to stay. It is evident that social media carries within itself so many negative aspects that at times we feel like we cannot control. Social media itself is not the problem overall, but how we as people and the society as a whole contribute to make it a negative environment. I think social media can be a double-edged sword. On the positive side, you can grow your exposure to things, you can do your own research, you can learn more, I wish I didn't have social media because I think that there are so many better things that would be more fulfilling than just like sitting and doing this all day and like putting all my energy into this little cube that really doesn't matter when there's like this whole world around me. But at the same time, I'm able to connect with people from around the country and around the world. And there's friends that I am able to keep up with like through social media. So I think in that sense, I'm grateful for it. I would say like growing up, I would see these models or like these, um, they didn't even have to be models, just these other um, women who I felt like looked better than me and were more healthier than me. And like, I always had this image in my head of what was deemed as normal. And like, it, it hurt me. <laughs> my uh, self-esteem, my self-value, my self-love. It most definitely like took a toll on me for the worse. It just made me feel like I had to be this person that I was not. And I could not be because I can't be anybody but myself. It was just, mm, like I was fighting so hard for someone else, you know, instead of fighting for myself. And I think that was like the, the worst thing that anybody can do to themselves. I think if you're struggling with social media, limit it, limit the use, limit how much you're letting yourself be sucked into it because it is addicting. And especially if you're struggling with it, if you're getting cyber bullied, all that stuff, I know it's really hard to walk away, but just do it, you know, see, see if you can like literally go hang out with a friend or do something else with your time um, read a book. <laughs> I don't know. Social media is not real life, <laughs> you know? Like what I see on my phone isn't what I see when I look up and look into the world. Throughout time, I just discovered that I should not be ashamed of how I look or what I am because I'm, I'm unique for a reason. Know that you have the power to follow the people that will make you happy and post what makes you truly dance with joy. You have the power to comment on positive words and to uplift others through those words. Social media is powerful and it is up to us to shape it to the positive environment we need.